I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Through Jesus you can have eternal life today. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of a turning point. Jesus loves you, sisters. Hallelujah. Today is a day of a turning point. Who have called upon the name of the Lord Jesus. And you can have eternal life today. Jesus said, they come out to me. Who has got the weary and burden? I can give you rest. You can get the joy and peace today. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He knows your destiny. He knows what you're going to have in your future. We, if you open your heart and they claim that Jesus, can you come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior? He will come. He will save you. He will deliver you. Jesus paid the price for your sins. If you humble yourself before God, oh God, can you forgive all my sins? He will forgive all your sins. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Therefore, repent. What does mean repent? Turn away from the wicked way. Turn away from the all the evil way. And he can forgive all your sins. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of a turning point. He died on the cross for your sins. If you open your heart today, Jesus, can you touch me and change me, deliver me? He will save you. He will deliver you. He will change your life today. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. This is the greatest news in the history of the world. Somebody paid the price for your sins. His name is Jesus Christ, Savior of the world. Our Lord and your Lord. He is the King of the kings and Lord of lords. If you open your heart today, asking God, Jesus, can you save me? Can you deliver me? He will save you. He will deliver you. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Open your heart today. Receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. For God so loved the world, He gave us one only Son, that whoever believes in Him, you shall not perish, but you have eternal life. Today is a day of a turning point. Today is a day of salvation. Open your heart. Receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And you can have eternal life today. Jesus paid the price for your sins. Open your heart today. Jesus, save me, deliver me, change me. He will save you, he will deliver you, he will change you. You know what will happen tomorrow, you don't know. But God knows your destiny. God knows what will happen in your life. He knows your number of hairs. He knows your life. Open your heart. Jesus, can you direct me? Can you save me? Can you deliver me? He will save you. He will deliver you. Today is the day of a turning point to Jesus Christ. Today is the day of salvation. Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for your sins. Yeah? God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. Jesus is the Savior of the world. Whoever call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. And you can have eternal life today. He paid the price. Jesus said, come unto me who has got a word and burden. I will give you rest. You know, God is an unchangeable God. God is an everlasting God. God is the Savior of the world. If you come before the Lord, you need to change. You need to repent your sins. Can you change me, Father? Can you save me, Father? He will save you through the power of the Holy Spirit today. In the Bible, one man, his name was Saul. He killed Stephen. Stephen was the first martyr in the New Testament. In book of Acts chapter 7. Can you imagine Stephen, he's the first deacon in the church, he was a preached the gospel. And then Saul, he was a religious man. He killed the Stephen. But thanks to think Saul become a Paul. If God saved the Saul to become a Paul, God can save anybody. The dangerous man, the evil man, Saul become a mighty man of God. He become a Paul. If Saul become a Paul, God can change anybody. Jesus loves you, brother. He loves you. He died on the cross for your sins. If you open your heart today, this is Jesus said, your Lord and your Savior. You have eternal life today. Jesus said, come unto me. Come unto Jesus today. And you can have eternal life today. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Open your hearts and receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And you can have a everlasting life today. He is the way and truth and life. God wants to change you. Do you know what Paul said? What a wretched man I am. He is a cheap sinner. He was a terrible man. If God changed this man's soul to become a Paul, he written another 14 books in the New Testament. 
God save anybody today. He wants to change you. He wants to deliver you from all the darkness. I was a terrible man. I was a detective a long time ago. When I was a detective, my hobby was to beat the people. I was heavy smoker. I smoked a 60 pieces of cigarette per day. I was heavy drunk. I drank a 20 liters beer within three hours. I was an evil man. If God changed me, God can change anybody. I was a terrible sinner. But now I'm a child of God. God wants to save you today. God wants to change you today. He wants to save you today. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of a turning point. If you open your heart, Jesus, can you save me? Jesus, can you deliver me? He will save you. He will deliver you. He will change your life. God is everlasting God. You know, we came here for what? To share the goodness of Lord Jesus. Yeah? If you open your ear, let your ear hear the word of the Lord. The Holy Spirit wants to convince you and touch you and change you. I was a terrible man. If God changed me, God can change anybody. Today is a day of transformation. Today is a day of a turning point. You can start a new life, brand new life. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Do you know the way? Do you know how to live in this world? I have a good news for you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, you can find the truth. You can find the way. You can find the everlasting life. Jesus said, come unto me. Who has got a weight and burden, I will give you rest. You can get the rest and joy and peace through Christ Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. If you are a born again Christian, you are my family in Christ Jesus. Doesn't matter your color, black and white and all. If you are born again, you are my family. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Give your life to Jesus and you can have eternal life. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of a turning point. You see with Jesus as your Lord and your Savior today. And He can save your life. Our young boys, do you believe in Jesus? Yes? Let me pray. Hallelujah. Praise the bitter the name of the Lord Jesus. The book of Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10 say, If you confess that Jesus your Lord and your Savior, and you believe that Jesus raised up from the dead, and if you believe in your heart and confess that with your mouth, you are saved. And your name is written on the book of life. Today is the day of salvation. Jesus is saved of the world. He died on the cross for your sins. If you open your heart today, Jesus. Can you come into my heart? He will come. He will save you. He will deliver you. He will change your life. Today is a day of a turning point. Today is a day of a salvation. Open your heart. Receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And you can have an eternal life today. Today is a day of a turning point. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. The Spirit of the living God come upon you today. Um, our deacon in our church. You know, she's a wonderful woman of God. I believe that God will speak to you through my dear sister. May God bless you. John chapter 3, 16 says, God loved the world so much that he gave his begotten son. And whoever believes, they shall have eternal life. And that is the one of the powerful message the God wants to communicate with you because Jesus came and he died on the cross for our sins and he took all our sins all over the world sins even the Bible says the past sin future sin and present sins those all sins Jesus took on him and he, he died on the cross so whoever believe in him their sins are
That's what Jesus came. He came as a flesh and he gave his blood for us. So we don't have to do extra any circum uh, circumcision. Because Jesus is the one only circumcision. You know, the he done, done it once only. He, he crucified himself. Nobody forced him, but he did it willingly. He, he gave his life willingly. And he rose again on the third day. Whoever believes Jesus is rose again on the third day, Jesus, he is a son of God. And whoever confess from their mouth that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior, they are saved. This is very easy way to accept Jesus Christ in your life and as a Savior and Messiah and get saved. It's very important that every sinner needs Jesus Christ because we all fall short in the glory of God because we are all are sinners and we need a Savior. Romans chapter 8 1 says there is no condemnation who is in Christ, who is in Jesus Christ. Because when we come in Jesus Christ, there is no condemnation because our sins has forgiven. God said, I forgive your sins and I will remember no more. How beautiful is that? He blotted all that sins from, from our life and he said, I will not remember even. For my sake. For my sake, God is God of forgiveness. God is God of holy. God wants His children to have that uh, connection with Him that is broken because of the sin, unfortunately. And when we created, when we come to God with the blood of Jesus, when we accept the Jesus Christ in our life and our sins are washed away, very, very like a, the Bible says, it's like a whiter than the snow. Can you believe? Our sins, our, our whatever the past, future and present sins are forgiven and washed away completely like a, like a snow, whiter than the snow. So it is very beautiful that God, what He has done for us. And if we don't appreciate that, if we don't understand that, what Jesus done for us. You know, Jesus, the Bible even says, my children are perishing because of lack of knowledge, because we don't know why Jesus came. We don't know why he died on a cross. Everybody thinks, okay, God is a God. Why did he say himself? That's our foolishness because we don't know the truth. And unless we know the truth, the truth will never set us free. So as a human being, we need to understand that why, what is my purpose on this earth? Is it just for so I came? To earn the money or have the good life or have the family. We need to find out our purpose and when we seek that purpose, when we seek that truth, what is the truth behind my, you know, born, born in this world, you will find out that answer also. When God said, uh, seek me and you will find me. Knock the door and door shall be open to you. So we need to seek whoever don't know about Jesus. They are born, ask God. We will to be Jesus, who you are. If you are severely a God, come into my life, change my life. I want to know you more. So when we when we come into that secret, when we come into that passion for God, He will reveal to us. He is the Son of God. He is real to God. He can show up. You know, even the darkness of the hour of the, our life we go through, whatever even Bible said, I will be with you even the darkness of your hour. You will be walking into the uh, valley of your death, but you, I will be with you. I will never leave or forsake you. Even the child, even the born mother, mother, she will forsake us. But who? God loved the world so much that He gave His Son. And He will never forsake us. That's what His promise is. So when we know how God wonderful is He, and when we love Him, He will come into life and He will change our life. Jesus is the only way, life and truth. There is no other way to go to the Father God except through Him. He is the only door. He is the only truth. He is the only Almighty God. I came from the Hindu background and I was worshipping 32 million God. And when I needed, when my daughter was in a life and death situation, going to that time in my oh, past life, and I was crying out to God, and I said, 32 million God, please come and help my daughter. 
And that time only God came with Jesus. And he delivered my daughter at the right time. And I left everything that religion. And I came and I followed Jesus. And this is the new testimony when people hear. There is a lot of big testimonies I can share with you. But because of the time limit, we have, I'm just saying that. So you can, you can be understand that different religion women can stand here and talk about Jesus Christ. Something God has done in my life as so I'm standing here today. I'm a witness of Jesus Christ. I went from the test and he made us a testimony. Today whoever Hindu people are here this week, just, just come to the Jesus and worship him. You will see the, the beauty of uh, God's forgiveness in your life and how God is changing your life. You will see, you will see that. There are many testimonies when you share, uh, when we share our testimony to the public, they, they are attached really. Because our God, he hasn't come to change the religion, but change the people, change the people's heart. He breaks the addiction. Our God is a break the addiction of people who are smoking, who are drinking so many alcohol, drug addicts and all that. Then they accept Jesus Christ, their life are changed. Who wants to go and go or get a suicide or something? Their life has changed. God touched them on the right time. And they didn't do suicide. They changed their mind and they followed Jesus because they knew that Jesus is trusted. So we we here today to just to share the goodness of God, how God done in you know two thousand years back in the Bible. When God when, when Jesus was on the earth, he was walking on the street. He healed many people, like fourteen years lady. She was having these blood blood issues, and she touched on Jesus' robes, and she got instantly healed. And another paralyzed man, he got healed. Another guy who who can't see and he just said to Jesus, you know, I want these eyes to be open, my eyes to be open. And Jesus gave him sight. There was a one guy, he, he died, Lazarus, and Jesus just rose him from the dead. How beautiful is that? that this is our new, this is our God who lives. And it's the same God we serve yesterday, today and forever. He is saying he never changes. His, his word never changes. His word has so much power that can be penetrate our our heart, change our heart. When we speak, when we read, when we uh, when we share the word of God, people change their cries and they say, "What is this? What is that you're talking about? This is you talking about Jesus. We're talking about His goodness and how real He is." We don't need to do so many spiritual things. We just have to ask Jesus to come into my life. I want to give my heart to you. I want to give my life to you. I want to follow you. I want to know you more. When you have that thirst for Jesus, he, he is, He will going to quench your thirst. He will pull you, pull you so much near to Him. If you will have these dreams and visions about Jesus, he will speak to you through the dreams and visions through his people. And he, you will know that Jesus is the true living God. So today I'm just praying here. I'm just here because of the love of God. He's so much on you guys here. He loves you so much. Jesus loves you so much. Jesus loves you highest to know all the people on the sudden. He loves you so much that we are here to just to say Jesus loves you so much. And he died on a cross for our sin, that, that our sin could be forgiven. Accept him as a Savior and Messiah and have that internal life with God Almighty. Because one day we will all going to stand at the front of the Heavenly Father, the God who created heaven and earth. And we'll, we all have to go through the judgment. Christian, non-Christian, everybody, everyone, every soul had to stand front of Almighty God and God will judge them. And that is too late that time because we had no time that time, just a judgment. It's like a when we stand in front of the judge and he gave, gives whatever the uh, whatever the punishment for the people and we, we had no choice to accept that. But now we have choice to accept Jesus as a Savior and as a Messiah. We have choice, we have the time. 
because we are not dead, we are still alive, we can make a choice. So I'll just, I'll just, you know, humbly I'm just saying to you, make a choice today, have Jesus in your life as a savior. And when you stand on that day of judgment, you will be so happy that, oh, thank God I made that decision on this earth that accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Thank God I made that decision. Thank God. Now I don't have to go through this fiery hell, that fire. That internal fire of hell, I don't need to go there because I accept Jesus Christ. When you accept Jesus Christ, you have so much hope that not hope, surely you will receive heaven because he died on the cross for our sin, because he shed the blood for us. We are not righteous by our deeds, but because he shed the blood for us, because of his blood, because we are his children, because we accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and our Savior. That's why we are righteous. That's why we are holy. Otherwise, there's no righteousness in us. Our righteousness is a filthy rag, the Bible says. Our righteousness is the filthy rag. No matter what good things you do in your life, no matter what, how many people you serve, how many people you help, poor people you help and go in a prison and help them. But when, when we accept Jesus Christ, truly our sins are forgiven, not by our deeds, not by what I am doing, what has Jesus done for me on the cross. That matters in it. Because no matter what, how much I am a good person, I'm still a sinner. I still can thought about the sinning things. But when we accept Jesus Christ, all our sins are forgiven. All washed by the blood of Jesus. And this is the beauty of Jesus Christ when we accept. We have surely that our sins are forgiven and you will have an internal life. So today I pray for all the souls on this Southern High Street. Let the Holy Spirit touch them, touch their heart, and this gospel shall not go in vain. Jesus loves you so much. Give, his, give your life to Jesus and make Lord, make Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. You will see the changes in your life. You will see your heart is changing. So have a little prayer. Say, Jesus, I know, I believe you are Son of God. You came and you died on the cross on the and you rose again on the third day. I believe that. And I confess from my mouth that Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is the Lord of my life. And you will be saved. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you for listening, all uh, people. Yes, thank you. Hallelujah. Whoever call upon the name of the Lord Jesus, you can have eternal life. Today is a day of a turning point. Today is a day of a transformation. How? Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He paid a price for your sins. Jesus said, and I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one come to the Father but by me. Through Jesus you can have eternal life. Through Jesus you can have everlasting life. What does it mean everlasting life? One day we'll die. Before you die, you see Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. One day you can go to heaven. That is mean ever eternal life. I know my name is written on the book of life. Can you imagine? My name is written on the book of life. I know, I know. There's two books in heaven. Book of life and book of deed. Whatever you do, that's written on the book of deed. But you must be born again. How can you be born again? Through Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Through Jesus you can be born again. Through Jesus you can have everlasting life. Through Jesus you can have eternal life. Young boy, you believe in Jesus? Give your life to Jesus and you can have eternal life. Today is a day of salvation. Today is a day of eternal life. Change your life. Do you believe in Jesus? Believe in Jesus, have eternal life. In the name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, you can have eternal life today. Jesus reached his hand to you. He said to you, come unto me, who has got a weary and burden, I will give you rest. You can get the rest and peace and joy through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. He died on the cross for your sins. If you open your heart today, Jesus, can you come into my heart as my Lord and my Savior? He will come, He will save you, He will deliver you, He will change your life.
Today is a day of a turning point. Today is a day of a transformation. If you open your heart, He will come, He will save you, He will deliver you, He will change your life. Open your heart today. You see Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And you can have everlasting life today. He died on the cross for your sins. For God so loved the world, He gave us one, only Son Jesus. And whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. What does mean eternal life? One day you can go to heaven and that there's no pain. There's no sickness, there's no darkness, there's no sorrow. There's only peace and joy in heaven. He wants to save you today. He wants to bless you today. He wants to deliver you today. If you open your heart, open your heart today, receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. You can have an everlasting life today. Father, I thank you for this time. You can save the souls in here. Now, Father, I ask you, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth and in heaven. Jesus, can you save the people in this area? Change the people in this area by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus of Nazareth, Father God, heal this land. The United Kingdom shall be saved. This nation belongs to Jesus. No more belongs to darkness. Belong to Jesus. Jesus will rule this nation his, with his power and grace and mercy. Father God, we thank you. 66 million people in the United Kingdom shall be saved. Today is a day of a turning point. If you open your heart today, receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And you can have an everlasting life today. He paid the price for your sins. He wants to change you. He wants to deliver you. He wants to transform your life. Open your heart, receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And you can have an amazing life, everlasting life, peaceful life. Jesus is a Prince of Peace. Do you need a peace? Receive Jesus. Do you need a joy? Receive a joy. Receive Jesus. Do you need a grace and mercy? Receive the Lord Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And you can have eternal life. Do you believe in Jesus? Well done. Follow Jesus all the days of your life. Today is a day of a salvation. He wants to save you today. He wants to deliver you today. He can open your heart today and he can save you. You know what the Apostle Paul said? What a wretched man I am. Who will deliver me from all this darkness? Thanks be to God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus able to save you. Jesus able to deliver you. Jesus able to change your life. He wants to save you today. He wants to change you today. If you open your heart today, Jesus, can you save me? Can you deliver me? Can you transform my life? He will save you. He will deliver you. He will change your life. Hallelujah. Wonderful brother Louis. Can you come here? Praise God. Last Saturday, WBC World Boxing Champion, Brother Louis Lin, coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, we have the two. Oh, can I touch you one? Can you see him? He's a world champion. Last Saturday, he was a pre he was a uh, in a uh, boxing in Dubai. He was a winner. And thanks be to God. What God has done for your life. Yes, hallelujah. Do you know how this one is done for? <laughs> yeah, thanks be to God. I'm undefeated champion now, WBC um, International. I just won this fight in, in Dubai. I had a hard fight over in Dubai. Thanks to God, uh, my manager, they paid for it. I had a free holiday to Dubai. Put in a nice hotel. We get to get fed every day. And had a hard fight at the end of it against Assad Azif Khan from India. 29 top fighter. Yes, boys, how you doing? And a hard fight, you know, it's real tough in there, but God gave me the strength. And you know, he's my confidence. Since I was a young kid, since I was a little youth, God's been my confidence. And you know, God will never leave us nor forsake us. And he'll never let us down. He loves us and the love of God is real. And, and on my shorts for my fight as well, I had John 3.16. And John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus. And that whoever believes in it should not perish but have eternal life. And uh, Jesus really is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. And I didn't used to believe all these things. I didn't even really used to believe in Jesus. But God revealed His Son to me. And Jesus said, if you've seen me, then you've seen the Father. And 
I've tasted and seen, you know, Jesus is real and he's the truth. He, there's no lies found in him. He, he's the only one who, who conquered death, hell and the grave. He destroyed the plan of Satan. The devil is real. He can't, even though I loved it in Dubai, it's beautiful out there. They've got the world's tallest building, Burj Khalifa. They've got everything out there. But if you've got money, they've got all the, all the top brands, everything in the Dubai mall. Everything's extra out there, right? And you can have anything. But they've got the kings of Saudi Arabia. And they built up um, Dubai in, in the last 50 years. There was, it was just not, nothing in the desert. And even the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, they made it in six years. But sadly, you know, it's on, off the back of a lot of slaves. Um, in, in India, they take their parcels off them and make them slaves and they have to work to build it up. But Jesus came to set the captives free and we were all slaves to sin. And while I was yet dead in my sins, Jesus made me alive in him. And it's good news that we come to share today in the name of Jesus. Because all of us have sinned, we've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. He's got the perfect standard. No one's capable of, of meeting that but except the man Jesus Christ. And God became a man in, and Jesus is the image of the invisible God. And he was obedient even to the point of death. He humbled himself. It's not like these other kings of Saudi Arabia. They're walking around while people are being doing slave labor and in pain and suffering. But Jesus gave his own life for you and me that we can have life. And he says, look. The devil comes to steal, kill and destroy, but I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. And since I have a relationship with Jesus, my life's been abundant, I have peace that transcends all understanding, I know love that surpasses knowledge. And the word in, every word in the Bible is the truth, you can bet your, your life on it, you can trust in God, he'll never fail you. And even my, my fight out in Dubai was a hard fight in this big hotel, and you know, look, Roy Jones Jr. was there, he's a great world champion, he's a legend of the sport, but I wasn't intimidated. And, uh, but my confidence was in God. Uh, and and when, uh, uh, when I was getting ready on the day of the fight, you have to wait and just be patient, obviously, until you go and compete. And just relax, basically. But I looked at the time once, and it said 2.20, and that reminds me of Galatians 2.20, which says, uh, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. And the life I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God. And I got on my knees and I said, Lord, thanks for getting me here. I don't deserve this opportunity. I'm so grateful to be out here in Dubai. I had no money. I, I was injured. I've been out of the ring for 14 months. So I had a cut in my last, in my last fight, September last year, when I had to defend this belt. And all, for these belts, championship fights are hard, you know, they're hard because people want it just as much as me in boxing, you know, it's blood, sweat and tears. And, um, you know, when I, I hold to the promises of God though, which says, you know, His grace is sufficient for us and when I'm weak I'm strong and it's true even in the fight in the seventh round I'm winning every round thanks to God but the seventh round he caught me with a good left hook and it, it, it rocked me now it buzzed me a little bit but Jesus is a you know he's an ever-present help in time of trouble and he'll never leave us nor forsake us and even I tell myself Psalm 81 I love you O Lord my strength and I say his grace is sufficient for us with God all things are possible and God loves us all, he loves everyone from everywhere, you know, if you're from the Middle East, Asia, Korea, India, UK, wherever you're from, wherever you've done, Jesus loves you so much. And this is how we know what love is. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus gave his own self, he shed his blood on the cross for you and me, we don't deserve it. We're all sinners and we're falling short of the glory of God. And the reason I love to preach the gospel because there's power in the gospel for salvation for everyone who believes. No one... No one's righteous. The Bible says there's not one person who's righteous. We've all sinned before God. And nothing can, um, you know, wash away our sins but the blood of Jesus. And that's why, you know, Jesus loves us. God loves us. He gave his only son, Jesus. Jesus didn't have to die. He's, he's God in the, in the flesh. Nothing's in too hard for him. But he gave his life as a sacrifice for my sins and for yours. He took the wrath of God upon himself so that we may be forgiven and have peace with God. And, and God's calling everyone everywhere to repent and to become a child of God, which is only through faith. And, you know, the Bible tells us that no man can see the kingdom of God unless they be born again, which is born of the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but yeah, um, spirit gives birth to spirit. And then God, the Holy Spirit, comes to live inside you and you be born again, you become a child of God. And I'm telling you now, you might see people preaching Jesus and think they're crazy, but Jesus is the truth and he's worth screaming and shouting about, you know, he's love. It's better than anything, you know. He's, that relationship with God that you have through Christ. You just have to admit that we're a sinner, we can't save ourselves. And the cross sums it all up because there's many different religions saying, oh, we have the truth, or this is, this is, if you do this thing, then you can be saved and go to heaven. You can do that, you do that. But Jesus says, it's finished. It is finished. He, he, he did all the work for us. And in the Bible, I'll just read it just now before I come. They asked Jesus, oh, where's the work that God 
good requires. And then he, Jesus said to him, this is the work of God, to believe in the one he has sent. Do you believe in Jesus today? And not just faith, because anyone can call themselves a Christian, you can call yourself whatever you want today. If you go to McDonald's, if I go to McDonald's, you don't make me a cheeseburger. But listen, you know, God, he, he called everyone. Jesus said, look, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And we're all going to die one day. No one knows when it is. We might think when we're older, you know. So, even though the Bible says to your old age and grey hairs, I am he who will sustain you. But nevertheless, we could die today, we could die tomorrow. We don't know when our time is up, but God does know. And the Bible tells us that it's appointed unto man and woman to die once and after to face the judgment. And we're all going to stand before a holy God one day. And, you know, God's going to look at us. It doesn't matter how many good deeds we've done or how much, how much you know, money we made in this life, how much fame, how much drink and drugs or nothing else is going to matter. But, you know, because of our sins, we've been separated from God. And that's why the Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. And, you know, and that's it. When we put our faith in Jesus, we become born again. And we're washed, the blood of Christ cleanses us from all sin and we become children of God and God no longer sees our sins, he sees Jesus and he's perfect, sinless. And Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. And Jesus called everyone everywhere to repent, turn from our sins and put our faith in him and he'll do the rest. Because, you know, even the cross, it sounds like a foolishness to those who are perishing. But God opened your spiritual eyes so you can see the truth. And he says, if you hold to my teaching, then you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. And like I say, Jesus is still in the miracle business. He gives sight to the blind. He heals the sick. He raises the dead. You know, nothing is too hard for God. He loves you. And He gives you life every day. He makes your heart beat right now, wherever you're walking to. God already knows. He knows the end from the beginning. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the name above every name. He's the biggest G with a capital G. He's God Almighty, He's the Creator. And He loves you. But he knows, listen, he, he knows you before you was even born. He's, that's what the Bible told He knew us before we was in our mother's womb. We're fearfully and wonderfully made. And God gives us all different skills, talents and abilities for his glory. That we can glorify him in whatever we do in life. You know, no matter what you do, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. And Jesus is love. And God is love actually. And this is that, that you know, Jesus said, the greatest commandment in the whole Bible is summed up by this. To love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and to love your neighbour as yourself. And love doesn't harm anyone, but and like I say, God is love, and he, he, he proved it, he, he gave his own self for us. All he did was love people, he forgave the people for doing the unforgivable. Then we drove the nails into his hand, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And, you know, Jesus showed mercy to us, he paid for all of our sins on the cross, we could never pay that ourselves. You know, nothing, nothing is going to suffice, only the blood of Christ that's what's going to get us into the kingdom of God. And, and not just so we can go to heaven, but we can have heaven here right now, have a relationship with God, we'll be born again into the kingdom of God, um, become children of God, and have that relationship. God is our Father, and that's what, when, when the disciples asked Jesus how to pray, He said, go into your room, close your door, and kneel down, and pray to your Father who's unseen. And your father who sees your son in secret will reward you in public, and he will. God hears all of our prayers. He knows us. He knows even the hairs on our head, they're all numbered. You know, he, he, for us to understand God, it's, it's just, you know, it's like I'm trying to understand the internet. But God is the God who speaks, and he speaks to us through his word. God's not someone who just wants to be in a secret or he's mad at us. He is for our, all of our sins, but that's why it's good news. Jesus paid the penalty for our sins. So that we can have peace with God and, and be forgiven and have that relationship with Him. And that relationship is better than anything you can have in this life. Life goes up and down, we don't know what's around the corner. But when we have, you know, Jesus said, I'll tell you what He's like. Um, him who put His um, faith into my word. He's like a man who built his house on a rock. And when the storms come and the torrents and the, they beat against the house, but the house stood firm, it couldn't be shaken because it's well built. And when we have Jesus as our foundation, we cannot be shaken and that, even just for this fight and in everything in my life, but I told myself this, um, I've set the Lord always before me, because he's at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. And you know, it is God who arms me with strength, he makes my way perfect, he makes my feet like the feet of a deer, he enables me to go to the heights, he borders the path beneath me so that my ankles do not turn over, he prepares my hands for battle, my fingers for war, he gives me a shield of victory and your right hand sustains me. 
Jesus never said I'm an undefeated champion, I'm 11 and 0, I'm nothing, I don't deserve it, and I can do nothing by myself, but with God, thank you, God bless you, my love. With God, all things are possible, and Jesus says, look, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us all. We have to, we ain't got to do it in our own strength, we have supernatural strength from God the Father. Jesus loves you, my brother, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, he doesn't change. That cross has been there, you know, forever. He's not going. He's coming back, though. That's why we come out here today to preach the gospel because Jesus is coming back one day, and he's coming back like a thief in the night. And he says we must be ready for him. We can't be living in sin and and, and living however we want. We have to, you know, deny ourselves, pick up our cross, and follow him. And if we love God, Jesus says, if you love me, you will obey my commands, which is uh, you know, the ten commandments: thou shalt not steal, kill, um, look at a man or woman with lust. That's, committing adultery in your heart, all of these things, and we can't do it by ourselves, but when we become children of God, we receive the ho God, the Holy Spirit comes to live inside us, it's a gift, we can't earn it, we're saved by grace through faith, and that's it, you know, not of our own works, no one can boast, is what I don't or what he did, and, you know, I didn't, I'm just so blessed and grateful to have the relationship with God, and I didn't used to know my family, some of them go to church, and then they stopped, and this, and it doesn't matter if your family goes to church, but God spoke to me himself, and I see him through my own eyes and thought, wow, you know what, God is real, God delivered me from the impossible. He made a way where there's no way from a child. And even, you know, when I was, uh, when I was boxing and at school, he helped me in my studies and I ended up doing well and got A's and B's and went to college. I studied a law degree, but that wasn't what God had in, time, in store for me. He, I believe he created me to be a boxer and a good one, thanks to him. I'm, uh, as, a, as an amateur national champion, I won the ABA's in my third year. And that, and that third day, that's what I got on my knees every morning. I pray that I ask God to give me his strength, guidance and wisdom. And you know, he was faithful and it was tough. That everything, you know, he doesn't promise anything's going to be easy. But he says when we go through deep waters, he'll be with us. So it doesn't matter, you know, whoever's against you. And I tell myself for this fight as well, I love it in Romans 8.31. It says, um, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also along with him? graciously give us all things and you know he, he for, Jesus says as well according to your faith so shall it be and a blind man came up to him and he said oh, what do you want he's like I want to receive my sight and Jesus said do you believe I can do this and then he said okay well according to your faith so shall it be and you know God loves us nothing's too hard for God if you have faith the size of mustard seed we can say to this man and move from here to there and it will move God is a God of increase he's the creator you know and he like I say he doesn't change and he loves you and me so much, we don't deserve it. We just need to humble ourselves and say, look, the Bible says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And they, today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of turning point. You ever got to run away from God, repent from your sins and, you know, hold your hand up and say, God, I'm a sinner, I know I've, I've, I've broken many of your rules. And the Bible says as well, yes, brother, God bless you, mate. If we, if we broke, um, you going to go, yeah? Oh, is it? Oh, I see, I see, yes, brother. How you doing, man? You good, yeah? I'm going to chat with you in a bit if you're about right, man. Nice one, mate. But, yeah, if we um, confess to our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we'll be saved. And that's why it's good news. Jesus loves you. We don't know when, you know, when we're going to take our last breath. And even in this life, you know, I've had money. I've had, um, I've done everything. I've tried every other thing. Nothing compares to knowing Jesus. He's better than going out partying every weekend, having sex outside of marriage. Or pornography, he's better than anything, nothing compares. And when, you know, when we're weak, he makes us strong, when we're poor, he makes us rich. And we're rich in Christ, having that relationship with him, that love, you can't put a price on it. He has the peace that you can't buy, you can't put, you can't earn this stuff, what God gives us. But he gives it to us freely, and he says, freely you've received, so freely give. And God's been so good to me, and I haven't deserved, I've told him many times, but thankfully, you know, Jesus... He's, uh, he's merciful and, and he says if we confess our sins, he's just and faithful to forgive us. But we must repent, be willing to turn and, you know, and, and there's a, be born again. That's how we become a child of God and receive the Holy Spirit. He opens our spiritual eyes up to the truth and you'll never be the same. You'll never lack nothing. The Lord is our shepherd. We shall not be in one. We don't need to lack anything. When we have Jesus, we have, we have everything we need. He's an ever-present help in time of trouble. He's a way maker, a miracle worker, he's the light of the world, thank you my love, God bless you too. Jesus is the light of the world and he can put, he turned my darkness into light, I don't know what your darkness is, we're all suffering with something, but God knows our troubles, he knows our struggles, and he's, he's gonna, he doesn't know he's gonna, you know, 
I, I heard something saying about, um, what's it, when they crossed the Red, Red Sea, he didn't move the Red Sea from him, but he said we have to go through it. And sometimes we have to go through the storm, go, go through the hard way, but God's with us, and that's a promise. And, you know, God, he never breaks his promises, he's faithful, he never fails. You know, and another, another scripture, it says, um, yeah, now to him, uh, now to him is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above, you know, nothing's too hard for God, he loves you, but he says we must repent, turn from our sin, we've got to repent and live, live for God, turn, deny ourselves, pick up our cross and follow him, Jesus says more blessed to give than to receive, yeah.